early 1940, I joined the Women's Land Army. A few years later, in January 1944, I was sent to work on an 18-acre small holding at Ewell. It was early summer and hot, so we decided to start work early. We began at 5.30 a.m. so that we could cut the cabbages from the fields, weigh them and bag them, ready for market, before the sun got too hot to spoil them. From the fields, we used to count the RAF planes going over to Europe in formation. When they returned, we would count them again to see how many were missing. On a glorious June morning of blue skies and sunshine, wave after wave of planes flew over. We counted them all as usual and guessed that something important was happening. Hours later, we heard them returning. Some were clearly limping home with damaged engines. Others were missing. We thought of those brave lost men. Were they killed, injured, or taken prisoner? We stood in silence with our thoughts. The date was the 6th of June, 1944, known subsequently as D-Day, the day on which British and American forces invaded northern France. 